July 4th. Happy Independence Day, America. And uh, we're going fishing. So we're gonna try to catch some bait here first. Hope we load up on some pilchers. And we're heading offshore. Charles is here, Dakota's here, Sarah's here. I'm here, Subi's behind the camera. And welcome to Amarada, a beautiful day. I'm mixing up some sand chum here. We're gonna try to throw the net on them too. I won't be throwing the net. Still in recovery, but Charles may will. But even if you don't throw the net, you can always sabiki them like he's doing now. You know, let them catch what you need for, for the day of the sabiki. But in case you want a chum, you want a bunch of the net. Okay. It wasn't many. A handful of pilchers in the net, a handful of grunts. Someone's the you rigs faster. Not a big mark. Just kind of get charge us through the net there. We got some bait now. We got the live charge. We got the pilchers. Uh, Here we I'm go. Gonna, hey, I'm gonna need help getting them into this. Here we go. Pilchers coming up. Early birds out there with all the kids too. Fourth of July, baby, coming up. Independence Day. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? We wish July 4th, 2023, a beautiful day here. It was an epic sunrise there at Bud and Mary's. Nice pink sky to start the day. And can't complain about that. We're just leaving the bait patch. We got pilchers, we got some runners, we got some grunts. We got a little smorgasbord, so we got a little bit of everything. We're heading offshore now. And we're gonna fish for whatever we can find. Hopefully we'll catch an amberjack. Some people don't like to catch amberjacks, but we caught a big one, you know, a month ago with the code. We didn't film it, but I'd like to get one. And you know, I'd like to do some smoked fish, maybe make some fish sandwiches on the grill or something like that. The kids are at home with Linda today. I think they're going to grandma's tonight, but uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of firework action to show you. Ricky came out, we let one firework on the uh, road last night, and Ricky was there kind of dancing with me, so that was good. We'll see you offshore, we're heading out in the X3, and thanks for watching. Might be a false alarm, some birds working here. Might be blue runners or jacks busting here. Hoping for some mahis. We got a live blue runner going down. We're out here on the humps here off the Florida Keys and Pentorque 60, 65 pound braid, or 50 pound rods, and hopefully get a big old AJ on here. You're definitely gonna get a butterfly jig on there. <laughs> Charles got the tuna jig going down. The current is ripping. You can see the rips here we call when they get that upwelling and the current, you know, and the ocean's turning and all those little white caps there. Beautiful day here. A lot of birds, a lot of life here. That's good. Dakota's getting the belt on. Because if you hook a big AJ, they pull hard. One of the hardest fighting fish out here. Charles, got him on a mini rod, on the jig. Oh, that might be Dakota's bait. Yeah, I'm by the pool tonight. That's, fireworks. That's dangerous. Yeah. Coming up a little bit. Problem is I sent too much line out. 110 degrees. Is it jack or tuna? Jack. Is jack? I told you it was a jack. You were right. Jack man. It would have been, I'd be much more happy right now if it was a tuna. Let's send this bad boy back down. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like bait. Dude, Francisco is asking about some fish. We'll bring it back to the marina. We'll give Francisco some fish. On the deck. We didn't get stung. Oh, you got a bleedy bleed now. In the brine. Gonna feed some guys at the marina there. All over one jack. We didn't get a bite the first drift, so that wasn't good. We're gonna see what happens this drift. It's deep down there. We got the BKK hook right there. Doing a bite here. Fish. I like a bite. I'm gonna miss some of those small tuna there. Come on, get tight. Tuna on, I think. I think we're out on blackfin tuna, guys. Could be our tuna appetizer. Oh, yeah, now he's waking up. Blackfin tuna. Oh, tuna. Amberjack, we need him, but I think we're gonna eat him too. We got dinner. We've got a tuna. That's what we call a football. Same size as a football, you get it. We're gonna bleed them out and put them up in there, but no big amberjack yet, but at least we got a sushi appetizer. We'll take it. How's 
just looking up. He woke up. Fish on. Oh, he woke up now. He woke up. Oh, you guys, just keep it for the smoker. That's our day. Good. Then you add that in there. Get him, Dakota. Amberjack, full hard. Big fish, big poles. Welcome to Alvarado. You guys need to wait. Big tuna on, he ate the blue runner. We thought it was a jack, so nice tuna. Nice tuna, what a surprise. This will make her day. Got to grab my tail. Look at that. <laughs> now we were not expecting that. <laughs> Teamwork, baby. Yeah. yeah. We were expecting an amberjack, and the big old tuna ate the blue runner. That's better than amberjack. Happy Independence Day. Big tuna on amberjack rod. That was dumb luck, but we'll take it. Look at them, beautiful. So that's my tough rod. Yep. <laughs> Good. Nice tuna surprise. We have not caught a big amberjack yet. We got a nice big black fin, 20 pounder, maybe a couple pounds more. Charles is winding up and he ate it. <laughs> Dakota got the glory, she cranked the last 100 feet. We got a bleeder now. Bleeding him out there in the gills, but beautiful fish. Nice surprise. On the way. We're fishing for monsters now. That was, that was. He snagged bottom and broke off. Let it re-rig. We're getting a bite on a whole butterfly bonita. This will be the big age that we want. The big bait, we're never gonna let him eat it. There might be some small jacks down there. The bait may be too big for some of them, but big mama comes through, she'll eat it. It's our last big bait, unless we want to use a black fin tuna. We did have a little bite last time. They ate one filet off, but. Thing. We're going down, which should be an easy fish to catch, it's not being easy. But we're going to find out this drift. We've got the big one on now, guys. We've got the big one on now. He ate the eight pound bonita for bait. Dakota is up, ready for battle. Hold on tight. Big mama. The last one looks small, Dakota. How's it feel? Hard? Not great so far. Just remember, it's about 300 feet down. Yeah. 500. Probably 500, yeah. Yeah! Got the tune up with a drone, baby. In the box. Everybody wants to catch an amberjack until they hook a big one in 500 feet of water. And then it's brutal. But Dakota's got one on. She went mute. She's quiet now. She's not speaking. All of her energy is being put towards this amberjack. Hopefully we get him. We'll be seeing him soon. The sweat is pouring down my face, my back. Charles is, especially hers, because she's actually doing the work. Sarah's got the drone up. I'm chilling. Yeah, but I just had a power in. I feel pretty good. Uh, he threw the cast net that caught the, well, actually, Sarah's blue run and caught the tuna. Ted weight on the boat, threw the cast net, hooked the tuna, reeled up every bottom rod. That's hooked, true. Hooked the bottom. Hooked the bottom, too. How dare she Lost install like you? Lost like three lines already. Exactly, yeah. They're flying the drone. Lost 50 bucks in tackle. I think Landon's only dead weight here. Did you get down on video? No, I was taking still dead. shots. He's just dead, Jack, here comes the leader. Uh, grab the sinker, Dakota, there. Giant amberjack, you guys, an absolute whopper. He's coming up. Here he comes. It's a nice one. He's 50 plus. He ate the whole bonita. Oh, yeah, look at that Those one. Those babies. Oh, yeah. Those babies. There's a big Ajax. Cody's bigger than your last one. Yeah, look at that belly. Yeah, no. Look at that belly on that Ajax. Yeah. Nice work, Dakota. Oh, it's a big one on the 14. And she never wants to catch one again. On the monster circle hook. On the monster hook. Yeah. There was a big giant amberjack flopping on the bow. We just got him for the smoker. About 45 minutes ago, we got a big tuna. That was a, a surprise. He ate the amberjack bait. I think Dakota is exhausted. She can't speak. She's just catching her breath back. And uh, the AJs are brutal. You know, they fight like no other fish out here. And uh, we got dinner covered, though. We got. We may smoke them, we may grill them. I'm not positive yet. We got tuna there. We're gonna bleed them out, put them in the fish box, but 
Happy 4th of July. Hope everyone has a great weekend, a great day, a great week. Dakota, you have your breath back yet? She's still mute. See ya. <laughs> She's out of breath, but we're gonna get some more pictures there. Awesome morning on the X3. We have made it back to Bud and Mary successfully. Mission accomplished. We just found out that Charlie has COVID, so he's probably not cooking with us tonight. But uh, we wish him the best, hope he bounces back. Gets feeling better quickly. We're gonna pull into the Gimme Jimmy slip. We're gonna unload some fish, unload the rods, hit the boat with a spot zero, wash it down the blue wave, get it cleaned up and shiny, and get ready for this afternoon. We're pulling over here. We got the spot zero machine. That way the boat's super clean, the metal's shiny, the paint, all that, no water spots. We actually got the new mobile mini one as well. Um, it's at home, I haven't had time to unbox it yet, but we're still using this one here, it's working good. But soon, in the next couple weeks, we're gonna put the new one behind Sarah's boat back there so that way we can wash her boat and uh, not have to come over here to use this one. But we're gonna get the boat nice and clean, we're gonna soap it down, get these rods washed off, then I'm gonna clean the big tuna, the amberjack, and we're gonna give a couple fish away to some of the guys that work here and uh, make them happy too. This is an Almaco jack, very similar to the Amber Jack. Just a little difference is a little wider body here. On the fins here, you know, the dorsal fin and the anal fin are a little bit longer. But very similar. So greater Amber Jack, Almaco Jack, dinner, right? Yeah, as a for How my, are you gonna cook for it? my dinner right now in a restaurant. See it, Mac Duck. Yeah? Yeah. That'd be good? Yeah. I'm better good. Than, very better nice. Better than steak? Oh yes, it's better than steak. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, Pancho. Yeah. We'll see Thank you. Later. Thank you. Thank you. YouTube is very critical on the fillet jobs, but this amberjack here, we're gonna split them down the middle here. You can kind of follow that yellow line there, kind of like the lateral line. It's basically just gonna go right here in the middle, and that'll be right where the bloodline is. And amberjacks are known for having worms, a lot, especially their back half. So a lot of times people just eat the shoulder chunk here, but sometimes they're not bad and you can eat the whole thing. Let's go up here, cut right behind the gills there. And I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We may smoke it. We had a little bit of smoked fish the other day and it was really good. We're thinking about doing that ourselves. We blood this fish out in the cooler. We took some more pictures on the way home and it made a bloody mess. So amberjacks have huge rib bones too. I'm just trying to cut right over that center bone there. Got his ribs and I'll show you guys some of the worms in here too. I don't want to eat these worms. You could eat them, you know, it's extra protein. Victor would eat them, not me though. So these are the worms that everybody talks about the amberjacks and they say, oh you can't eat it, blah blah blah. We still have 90% of that top shoulder section there, that's gonna be good. We'll knock out this in here. This is where the uh, rib bones are. You can still feel them, they're huge. And we're gonna cut this bloodline out. We're gonna leave the skin on it in case we smoke it. I don't, not positive we're gonna smoke it yet. I think we are, but just since I don't know, I'm gonna keep the skin on it because you do wanna leave the skin on it typically if you smoke it. That way you can put that side down on the grill. We get rid of that, feed the tarpon. Cut this up into sections like this. That'll be good there. See the bloodline right there too, the dark red meat? A lot of times we'll trim that up just a tad. You can just cut just towards it and just cut that out of there as well. Okay, let's follow that line here. Those rib bones are massive. I mean, listen to this. So that's what dolls your knives are hard to clean. So a lot of times the AJs, we'll try to clean around the rib bones. Cause if you keep cutting through them I and your blade just gets destroyed. And we kind of knew there's worms in there. So we're gonna just cut that little piece off there. Cause I'm sure there'll be worms there. Just going right over the Right over the backbone here, the spine, working our way up. And as we get up here to the ribs, that's where we're gonna have to try to go either through them or over top of them. But so the rib bones are up there. There's some worms in here. You can see the worms in there. I kind of cut to that one rib bone, but let's get rid of them all together. We'll section it out, make it easier. Got this here, that's pretty clean. Just a little bit of worms back here. Feed one to eat right there. So Sarah's finishing cleaning up the boat. Hit it with a spot zero. Got a blue wave on there, soaked her down. Charles is filleting the tunas. We gave away the other jack to Francisco there, which we call Poncho as his nickname. He got dinner. We'll be heading back home here in a few minutes. Not sure how we're gonna spend the afternoon yet. 
So we're feeding the tarpon some scraps here. Just cutting out some of this worm. I don't want the extra protein, but if you wanted it, you could eat it. But we got plenty of good stuff without that. So tarpon food, we'll see you guys back at home. Welcome back to the kitchen. We've got some amberjack. We didn't have time to cook it, you know, right when we caught it. So I put it in the freezer and we were planning on smoking it. Sadie, do not yell. We were planning on smoking it, but I said, you know what, let's try something different. I got a new yeah. meat grub and we were gonna smoke it. You know, a lot of people smoke amberjack. You can hear the kids yelling in the background. My apologies, but that's life. But I want you to do, I want to try to do something different. We got a new meat grinder. I want to cut this up, marinate it, hit it with some W sauce. You know, America's Worcestershire, however you say it. Also gonna mix in a little California Rancher seasoning. We're gonna marry this bowl. We're gonna grind it up, so stay tuned. Now you can see some worms in here. Amberjack, you know, they're known to have worms, so it's just extra protein. We don't really want to eat it, so I'm gonna be a little uh, cautious, I suppose, when we cook that, because. I don't want to gross the kids out and give them all the worms, but we're going to get rid of all that bloodline, which is the dark red meat. And you can see, you know, this is some of the worms right here coming out of the fish. And Amberjack is known for having worms, so it's a little gross, but Landon's excited to try it. That is a big worm right there. So that's extra protein. Most people smoke this, but looks pretty good there now. We are going to cut this in strips, actually. We're going to cut it in strips like this, because this is going to have to fit in the meat grinder. We're going to put... <laughs> This is great on steak. We're gonna put on some fish now. I've done it on tuna before and it was really good. We're gonna do it now on the amberjack. We're just gonna give this about a 15 minute marinade or so before we grind it up. We're also gonna mix in a little bit of this California ranch right here. Very good seasoning, so. Add a little bit of that in there too. I'm just gonna stir all this up here. Mix that all together. We're going with the medium size. This is the medium size one. You got three different options, small, medium, and large, but we're gonna try the medium size uh, piece there. And I busted my knuckle, that does not feel good. This is brand new, I've not used it yet. Let's see. Okay, this one goes over here. Landon, help me. You need to do everything for me. Good job. Hang on, let's see if it works. Ooh, that sounds powerful. So we've been marinating the amberjack now. It is time to grind it up. I've never done this before, so this is new for me, and we just want to do something different. So we're going to turn this on. And when this goes in here, it's going to come on out. It's like ground fish there. Yeah. And that's how you grind up amberjack. You all have seen hamburger meat ground up. That's amberjack meat ground up. We are doing fish burgers with amberjack. There's some extra protein in there with some of the worms. Claire, do you want some? Do you want an amberjack burger? You don't want an amberjack burger? Okay. Where'd you get the diaper from? Who put it on? Me. You did? Good job. So, we're gonna put some butter in the pan, and we're gonna make some burgers up, some patties. And then I'm gonna try one, and the kids are gonna try one. And we're gonna see how this turns out. W sauce, some California Ranger on there. Let's go, let's do it. I don't know if the kids will eat big ones or not, so. Just like making a nice hamburger. And we're gonna make them just like this, and they have plenty of seasoning on there. Right in the pan they go. We're gonna do a few of those. This will be a nice early dinner for the girls. And the girls will be honest, you know, whether it's edible or not. You know, sometimes you can't trust the adults, but the kids, they pretty much tell you the truth. And ideally, we're going to land him to try one, too. He's behind the camera. He's taking his head no, but I tell you what, Dakota caught the Amberjack. She's going to have to come try one, so. Landon said it smells like fish. It smells like fish. We're going to see how they taste. Time to flip them. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The world has never seen amberjack, well maybe, but I've never seen amberjack burgers before. I think they look pretty good. We're gonna see how they taste. They're ready to come off here. 
Fresh Amberjack burgers, come and get them. Hot stuff coming through. Four patties to start. We'll save the rest here, but let's let these cool off. That's time to get everyone's opinion. We don't have any burger buns. We got some Sara Lee honey wheat bread. This will have to do it, so. I don't think the kids will eat the bread on it. We're gonna give them just the burgers, but hopefully Dakota comes out and tries a bite. I think I'm putting ketchup on mine. They may want, they may want mayonnaise and stuff like that, but I gotta find me some ketchup. Try to go a little bit left. She's here. Amberjack burgers. They just like a fish burger. <laughs> I'm like scared. Dakota is scared. Amberjack have a somewhat of a bad tradition food-wise, you know, for edibility-wise. And this is not the traditional way to cook them, but we're gonna see what she thinks. She worked hard to catch it. She did it. That's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like after. <laughs> she was a back-breaking fish. Her it sweat was. and tears were in there. Blood, sweat, and tears. It was very good. And we took like two hours to get a bite to catch one. So this is like a 50 pounder. It's a big fish. It was like 100 degrees. Yeah, it was 100 degrees. It was calm. It was calm. Not a lot of wind and very hot. We're out of paper towels. We're using bread as burger. That's all I had. I don't have any buns. I don't see any buns yeah, on. Yeah, all those. Got diapers, diapers, and that's it. No buns. Here. Find one? How old are they? <laughs> Hang on, we may have buns here. They're like smushed. But I thought I'd be on the boat. It's just because they went in the boat, yeah. Yeah. That's hot. There we go. That looks better. She found them, see? That's typical. The guys can never find anything in there. There's like something there, so. They've been on a few boat rides. They have. They probably caught these with us. We have plenty of hot dog buns, though, because we have two packs of those. So we have been eating a lot of hot dogs eating on the grill. Take your poison. What do you want to put on yours? Mayonnaise, ketchup, what? I don't know. What goes with a fish burger? I don't know. I put it's W sauce on them plus uh, some seasoning. We this video has gone downhill very fast. Of course you take the good one. There's like three crumbled ones. <laughs> she said of course I take the good one. I take it. Dude, I can't even film anymore. It's the it's Amberjack burgers. Be good. <laughs> you're going to convince yourself of that. We have a leftover salad last night from Lazy Days. There's some tomatoes in it. And some lettuce. So, Dakota said we need to put more on it besides just meat and bread. There you go. You're up first. Yay! Yay! Me. Everyone's nervous about it, so. Okay. There was no worms in or anything. And Amberjack is known for having worms, so. Hey, Sadie or Claire, do you want to try a bite of fish? Hamburger. You want to try a piece of hamburger fish? Yeah. <laughs> try the hamburger Here comes. fish? Here she comes. Claire's coming in hot. We will let Claire try it and see what she thinks. Mm. Amberjack burger for the baby. You want to try a bite? See what you think. Oh, yummy. Hang on, is it good or bad? Hey. We need to know. We need to know. Is it edible? Is it yummy or not? <laughs> do you like it? You do? Do you want more? Come get more. <laughs> the kid ate it. Now maybe it's not always the best thing to do to give it a two-year-old first to check, but I knew it would be edible, you know, it just may not be great. Here you go. One more bite. Good? Thumbs up. Wave hi to Landon. Say hi, Landon. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Perfect. The baby approved. Now it's time for the adults to try it. You want more? I toasted. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay, you want that bite? Oh, don't fall off that little scooter. That little scooter's like 30 something years old. Do you like it? First Amberjack burger ever. And I'm not putting any seasoning on it, because or any sauce on it, because we already put seasoning on it. Plus we have the W sauce on it, so we got tomato. We're gonna put a little bit of lettuce on it. She spilled a drink on the couch. Welcome to life with kids. Let's see if we can give her one bite and see what she thinks. Here, Sadie. I'm not doing any sauce. Nope. I want that. I want that. Landon, your buns are hard. You're not getting out of this one. Yeah, Landon, you have to try one. Dakota put mayo on hers. I'm not putting any on mine. Okay, I'll take that. A big moment. A big minute. Mama, mama. Here we go. We'll see what everybody thinks. Yep. Dada. 
It tastes like a hamburger. Seriously. <laughs> but that was, I, I was really nervous. The W sauce, it would be like on a lot of beef, you know, like steak, hamburger, you know, skirt steak, strip steaks, all that. <laughs> Ribeyes. It just tastes like a ham hamburger. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. So all you guys that thought you can't eat Amberjack, okay. you can. You didn't it has like it. a, it does taste like fish. It's not like fishy, but it's not a hamburger. You can taste it afterwards. Hey, Luna, your turn. Another shot. I was kind of nervous. We all were. We thought the warmers might be in there, but we know we cut most of them out. But with the W sauce you see in there, it just reminds me of a hamburger. And it'd be something good, something different to mix it up. So if you catch one, give it a try. Make some fish burgers. You could probably do it with any type of fish. Not bad, right? No, not bad. I know if I made those in Marina, everybody would eat them, so. Because you tell them they're hamburgers. Tell them they're turkey burgers. You could say it was a turkey burger because the color of the meat and they would not know the difference. The kids are making a lot of noise. That wraps it up, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It was something different. Big Amber Jack, and uh, that's all I got for you. So hit that subscribe button. You know, thanks for watching. I know we said in the last couple of videos, a lot of y'all watching are not subscribed, so we really appreciate it if you did. And our giveaway goes on throughout the end of July. If you want to enter that for some Stan's fishing apparel, <laughs> click the link below. We're giving away three apparel packs, a cotton t-shirt, a hat, a sun gator, and a pair of shorts. So you got a chance to win. All you can just enter with your email address below. Anyhow, I'm getting back to eating fish. Say, do you want to try one bite? No. Say, he's not trying to bite. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. You want to bite?